everybody and welcome back to my channel so today i am going to be showing you my completed pages for the month of march um in no particular order we are going to be starting with fantasy figures special issue number 77 I'm trying to catch my breath <laughs> i don't know why because i've not re really done anything um this will be page nine which is rose um as for this it is part of a buddy color with my dear friend reese we have been friends for seven years believe it or not in the coloring community first met in molly harrison group and we've still not met <laughs> hoping that will change at some point or another uh, so with this one, I used Faber-Castell Polis, white gel pen and writer for vellum black pen. As you can see, I've used the black pen on the markings on the lips, this bit here, the red bits on the face, her eyes. And then I've used the white gel pen on the shiny bits of her beads and her eyes. I was going to use the black pen on the roses. I might come back to that later, but in my eyes at the moment, she is finished. <laughs> but she has been a labour of love. I've really enjoyed colouring her. And this is part, uh, this one was three of, one of three of the pages that we've picked to colour for the month of March. Um, well, there weren't no time limit really, but I had it in my head that I want to get it finished for the made completed pages for March anyway. Um, so yeah, that's that one that I coloured. I'll put it to one side. The next one is Winglings Special, issue 91. The image I coloured in this one is image 11. You will have seen this on my channel at some point or another. Uh, this is one of my first ever Jasmine Beckett Griffith pages that I've coloured, ever. Um, and on this one, I use Prismacolor Premiers, Artex 120 set, white Signio gel pen, and soft Mungio pastels with a fixative. And I also used a uni, used a uni pin fine line extra fine brush for her eyelashes, and so it gave it though that's really nice, fluffy, fluffy bushy eyelashes. Um, I'm not a girly girl, so I don't know all the proper you know girly terms for it. Um, but as I said, I used Prismacolors on the actual page, soft Mungio pastels on the background. Uh, black, oh, and I used a black Posca pen, I didn't put that down, but I used a black Posca pen just to go around the edging because this is your edging and I thought it would look better with the black on the back. Uh, with this one, I did use Jasmine Beckett Griffith's, Griffith's uh, original artwork print to give me uh, idea boost because I was uh, lost on this one. I've never done one before um, and I was just all out of colour ideas for it and I struggled so I thought hmm I'll just go and get the artist page and replicate it in some way or another. Um, I did have, I've, I've added certain white bits and stuff um, but I, I, I like it anyway. <laughs> The eyes I did use, I don't, I'm not big on tutorials. I don't technically watch tutorials to help with my colouring. I do it all myself. But I noticed a lot using this tutorial for the eyes. So I went searching for it and I used the tutorial from Colouring Heaven's site um, to learn how to do real life eyes. I'm sure you'll have all probably heard of it or seen it. I don't know if it's a, just a subscriber thing or not. I don't know. But it turned out really well. And I really like how they turned out. Um, I don't think I could have got it any better. And I wanted to give 
her, her, her eyes really dragony eyes. I can't remember if Jasmine's picture has got those colours. I can't remember. But I know the rest of the page is definitely part, mostly the original artwork. Shoot me if I've copied and I shouldn't have, but I just prefer sometimes doing a replication of the artist's work. <laughs> bad, bad me. Um, I've done it many, many times with Molly Harrison's work and I got told off and I needed to watermark the pages because people were thinking that they were uh, work. <laughs> but um, there we have it. So yeah, we, we I started this one on the 21st of this month and finished on the 23rd, part two of the three images that we'd chosen to colour together. So that's that one. The next one is Nico Girls Special. I do apologise, I'm in the kitchen today. Um, I've been demoted to the kitchen because we only have some on his game doing a raid for, on Destiny with his friends. So uh, it over, you know, shout over my video. So that's why I'm in the kitchen. Uh, anyway, back to my thing. Colour in Heaven, Nico Girls Special Issue 82. In this one, it was page 35, which is this one. You'll have seen me posting this one on my channel as well. Um, this one I used Faber-Castell Polychromos, as always. Black Posca pen, white Signo gel pen and metallic gold pen. Um... I did get some ideas from a friend on this one because obviously I'm I'm still new to the uh, anime Nico whatever stuff. Uh, I'm not a I'm just like a a newbie at this kind of designs and stuff, but I do like them. Um, obviously, I knew she was like a foxy girl, so I went with uh, fox coloured hair to go with her ear, so it all blended in. Uh, the person gave me an idea for the eyes, which I'm grateful for. Um, and I, I just couldn't decide on a on a colour theme with her, to be fair. So I just went with what was quite simple. <laughs> Pink and purple, which is usually colours for um, Guambanga and stuff like that. Um, but I enjoy colouring it. The word web on the background but I just I but my original plan were to do it black and then doing white gel pen to make the web stand out but it didn't work that way. I started doing it here and it just didn't look right. We're all too wavy. So I just went over it in black and just left it. I love my little bat I'm turning round. Look how cute he is. And I just, I didn't use black on that. I used dark, dark sepia, sepia. Oh. So yeah. And then I just used a gold, gold pen for the buckle. And the little dot on its bum bum. Um, but yeah, I did enjoy doing it to be fair. Um, I started this one on the 12th of March and finished on the 14th. So that's that one. That's the buddy, all the buddy colours. We're moving on to, um, it's just the Kirby Rosane's books now that I did. So we go to Myth, um, Mythomorphia. I've done two in this pair, in this book. So it from the bottom. Now, I know we have some other people, well, I don't know if, if any other body, anybody else has the issue, but I'm very heavy-handed, so when I'm colouring my pages, I don't know if it'll show you on this, but it does transfer the, the line work from this page onto the white bit, you know, when you've been pressing on add from this side onto this side so I cut myself pa plain paper and as you can see there 
because I've been colouring on this page, the pressure from it has caused it to go onto the white. So just be aware of transference in that department. Um, I've noticed that in my Worlds Within Worlds book, I didn't do it and it, there were lots and lots of transference. So that's what I started doing. Um, with this one, nothing in particular other than I did it for... Oh, it was for Vanessa's uh, water theme challenge for this month. Kirby, hashtag Kirby Water 2023. Um, I started this on the 28th of March and finished it on the 28th of March. I really, really enjoyed colouring this one. I'll bring it a little bit closer. There we go. I really enjoyed colouring this one, to be fair. I used my Artex pencils, white gel pen and black Posca pen. I used the black Posca pen, obviously, for the background, white gel pen for the little splashy areas. And then I used... I think I used three coloured three coloured pencils. A dark one on, you know, on the skin here. No, four pencils. Dark on the uh, medium. And just lightly did it to ends and then I used two colours on this bit. So yeah, yeah, I think I use I use between four and five anyway. And then on obviously just use different colours for the fish feather and the uh triton. But it was really, really nice to colour. It was something different, and I just wanted to put another picture on for the <laughs> for the water theme for this month. Um, I'm looking forward to next month's theme. And we've also got the scavenger hunt that's gone up as well for April on our Kirby group. So I will pop all links in description for you. So that's that one. Uh, oh, and there was another one in this book. Find it. Not that one. This one. I coloured this one as well. This one was for the scavenger hunt for this month. Um, I used I used Artex mostly. So I used my po my Polar's skin tone colours for Medusa's skin. Then I use the Artex pencils on the snakes. I've seen a lot of people using brighter coloured pencils for the snakes and I wanted to do mine a bit more mossy coloured. That's the only word I can think think of, you know, off the top, top of my head. Um, I didn't want, to, want the snakes to be too bright. Uh... I, and then I use I use Artex on on snakes, black black Posca pen for the background, um, and then I use Bold Me a fine tip for the eyes, because on Medusa's eyes they're just blank, so that I know a lot of people have just been calling them a straight colour. Uh, yes, and drawn by me, I want to know to have like same colour eyes as the snakes. Um, I started this on the 4th of March and finished it on the 5th, so it didn't take me long to, to colour. do apologise for the noise, it's my fridge that's kicking in. So that's that one. On to the next. Anamorphia, let me find out which one I did. Oh yes, I remember doing this one. <laughs> this one. Might have to pull you back out a little bit. So this one is the chameleon page. This one was also for the Kirby scavenger hunt. I can't remember what, because um, the prompts you see, you've got to look for the prompts, which I'm going to give you a quick clue for those that re-watch this over. If you go to the back of the books, it, the answers are really in the book at the back. <laughs> In these um, so don't uh, shoot me for telling you you know how to find them but it's the orphan of the game you find go find the pit the prompts color the page upload to as Kirby group 
and uh, let everybody else see what you've coloured. So with this one I use Faber-Castell Polychromos, uh, white Signio gel pen, water soluble crayons. Um, I'm sure, I know uh, Gina will be watching this I think at some point. I use the water soluble uh, gel crayon things that you've sent me. Um, they were a bit tricky to use but I managed to get around it and then I uh, there were blotches there were blotches even though I used the brush on the crayon instead of putting it on the page um, but I wanted to make it more brighter so I then went over the top so I used the gel crayons as a base layer and then put the soft monkey or pastels on the top obviously the wings on these a white gel pen along with on the eyes that you'll see um, black, uh, go on, black pen, bold me a pen that I've used to just go around the web because it looked a bit dull. I'm trying to think, I think that's it really. And like I said, pencils were just my favourite Castle Polychromos. Uh, and then I used the um, fixative for the pastel on top as well. I really, really enjoy colouring that one. I ain't put a page in that either. Uh, some paper, so I'm going to have to put that on. Uh, but yeah, I started this one 23rd of March and finished it on the 25th. So that's that one. Then we have Wonder Morphia. Just one in this one. Um, I think this one it was a uh, buddy colour with my uh, son, <laughs> my little rubes. I find it. There we are. Um, so this is the one I did with Ruben, my son. Obviously, everybody will know that is well that follow me regular he uh, is deaf and he's got developmental delays um he's got speech impediment he has speech therapy and stuff um he's been seen by a psycholo child psychologist and stuff and he's i think a psychologist and it, they've distinguished that he's two years behind his actual age so he's got a lot of catching up to do at school but anyway enough of that we're on about pictures <laughs> uh, so Ruben picked this one to colour for um, Nessa's water theme challenge for this month uh, I sat well he started before me and he got the sand coloured and the water and then he just left it for for a while and come back to it later but uh, we did start together um, with this I used my Prismacolor Premiers my Derwent Pastel Shades paint set you'll have seen these if you get the scrawler box uh, I did buy six scrawler boxes because it were buy one get one uh, buy two get one free oh no buy one get two free sorry um, so I bought, I bought two boxes so I got four boxes extra uh, and in that box was the Derwent Pastel Shades paint set which is watercolours and that's what I've used on the uh, clouds and the sky they were really nice to use to be fair um, I will use them in future for more uh, you know cloudy stuff like that I really like doing it uh, and then I will use white Signo gel pen and I used a white chalk that I also got in the scrawler box just to make a little moon which were really nice to, to use and my ho 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 fine liners to add the birds or to go over the birds I don't know if they're already in there and to go over the shark fin <laughs> um, I really really enjoyed this one to be fair it was different when I first looked at it I thought mm, I'm not going to enjoy it as much as what I hoped but it turned out to be to be really good 
Um, I got quite a lot of likes on this one on Facebook, so I'm ever so grateful to everybody that, you know, showed me a bit of love for it. Um, and that's that one. And yeah, white gel paint on the uh, splashes for the sea. And I think that's it, really. Yeah. I added the, the stars in. But yeah, I enjoyed colouring that. And for the sand, I used three different colours. I think I used three different colours for the sea as well. Dark, medium, light. Yeah, really fun to colour. The next one is Imagimorphia. Find the page. Ah, yes. Might have to put, pull you back out again. Oh, damn. This one, I struggled to get it to go flat. Um, but with this one, this one we're also for uh, Vanessa's, you'll know by uh, Colouring Kirby page, I think it is on on YouTube. Um, I use Faber Castle Polys and Coyonor. Artex, so I went all out on this one. I think it was mainly for the all the sea the uh, seaweed and stuff at the bottom. Uh, and then I used Derwent ink tens for the background, along with the Mungio soft pastel. So I went in with the Derwent ink tens first because I really wanted to get the deep sea look at the bottom, and then blend it out to make it look light shining in. Um, I don't know if I've, <laughs> I've achieved that, but from when I looked at it at the time, it looked okay. And then when I took a picture, it's like this bit here is not blended out enough. And I wanted it to. Um, white gel pen and pastel fixative to, to fix in the soft pastels. So I went over with, with Mungio soft pastels as well. Uh, and I, I, for some reason, I have not added on here that I used the uh, Arteza metallic watercolours. I don't know if you'll see it, but I'll bring it closer. So, on the fish, you'll see it. I don't know if you'll see them shimmering. I tried to make them look like real life fishes. You know, I went light, it's... Um, but it's got a metallic look. I really like these uh, gold ones. So you'll see it shimmering with that one as well. Um, I really enjoyed doing it actually. I went all in because I like sharks. I think they're, uh, I think they're fantastic creatures. Um, obviously not fantastic when they come in and chewing your legs off and your arms off. <laughs> They're nice to look at at a distance. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed colouring it. And this one, all this was a, a challenge. I think it always is. There's been pages that's really, really, you know, challenged me. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I started this on 9th of March and finished it on the 12th, so... Three days it took me to, to colour. Um, I did at one point feel like giving up. I'm not going to lie, but I didn't. I stuck it out and I finished it. So I hope you enjoy looking at the page as much as I enjoy colouring it towards the back end of it all. I got a bit fed up, but I stuck it out. So yeah, that's that one. Last one, guys, uh, which is Fragile World. Oh, wrong one. <laughs> Fragile World. Uh, let's have a look. So this one is, I think it's further back. Okay. It's not. I haven't put the page number, so maybe I'll just look at back. Just look at back, Jane. Um, I know what I'm looking for. Ooh. I 
do apologize. <laughs> I'm looking for the the donuts. I'm blind and I've got my glasses on. Jesus. Ah, there we go. <laughs> Don't apologise. Um, so, yeah, this is the last page for this month. I mean, the video is going to be long enough. Um, so, with this one, um, yeah, I use Faber Castle Polychromos as always. I, I did start doing this one on the live stream about three weeks ago. Uh, you'll have noticed me, I started colouring this and along the bottom and then I went on to the Dunarts last. I did try to replicate the Dunarts as they are on, on real life photo. Um, I don't know if I accomplished that or not. <laughs> but I'll bring you a bit further down to get a better look. Um, so yeah, I tried to copy a picture of the Dunarts. I think they're really cute little things, aren't they, to be fair? Um, I used Faber Castle Polys Artex for the dirt, the donuts and the back, you know, the ground stuff. And then I used Soft Mungio Pastels on the background and Der 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 Derwent Ink Tense. So I went as a base layer with the Derwent Ink Tense on, on the background. And then I went over with the Mungio Pastels, adding it with my uh, fingers to add clouds to give it a cloud effect. And then I use the pastel fixative to fix it on. White gel pen for the for the uh, white bits on the page as well. Another fantastic page to add, you know, to colour. And I did this one also for the scavenger hunt for this month. There was four. And I don't think I've got I don't think I've got the right book to let you know which were which. No. But obviously for the scavenger hunt it was the Medusa Mythomorphia. Then there was the um shark page in Imagimorphia. The um Chameleon page in Anamorphia, and there was there was a were another one like one two three yeah and then the Donuts page for our world so those were your four um, scoping jump pages to colour um I think that's it guys um so. I don't, I'll leave that there just for something to look at. <laughs> um, I don't know if anybody's on Facebook that follow me on YouTube, but I've got a Kirby group on Facebook. Um, and if you follow me on there, obviously I'm doing the scavenger hunts and I also do it on Instagram. Instagram is the same name as my YouTube account. So you can easily find me. It's still the same uh, logo so you'll find me on Instagram or like you do on YouTube but as for Facebook it's my normal personal account it's not a an account that's specifically for my coloured with love channel so you'll know me as Jane on there I'm not going to give all my information out but <laughs> you can know my first name uh, but obviously those that do follow me on there and talk to me on there, they'll know everything anyway. But for the scavenger hunt, I did ask for permission if I could share everybody's finished scavenger hunt pages for this month. And everybody's welcomed it with open arms for me to share everybody's pages from the scavenger hunt. So, after I finish talking on this video, I will be posting all the po the pictures on here with everybody's name so you can have a look at what everybody's been colouring this month for the scavenger hunt again thank you to each and every one of you that are joining in it really means a lot to me that everybody's joining in because i have sat there through all kirby's books 
picking out pages and prompts for each one all the way to the end of the month, uh, end of the year. So putting all that time and effort into it, for having nobody to, you know, to go along with it is a bit disheartening. So thank you so much, everybody that's joined in up to now. I'm hoping to see some more newbies joining, possibly on Instagram, if you're over there. Um, I have popped up the new in, uh, scavenger hunt link, well, picture for April. So if you want to pop over there, uh, it would be great. And uh, I'll put all relevant links in the description box so you can easily find it. Again, thank you for watching and supporting my channel. It really means a lot. And I will leave the channel now so that you can go and watch and look at all the pretty pictures. Thank you again for watching. Take care and have a lovely weekend. Bye.